Uh, let's talk about spheres, baby. I mean, uh, just spheres. <laughs> we have surface area of sphere is 4 times pi times the radius squared. So all you need to know is the distance from the center of your sphere, of your ball, out to the outside edge. And that's going to be your radius. And then we'll multiply that by itself, then times pi, and then times 4. The calculation is really pretty easy. So if you have a, a sphere with a radius of 3, say, then you'd have 3 squared, which is 9, times pi, times 4. So we just have 9 times 4 is 36. So that'd be 36 units, 36 cubic units, if the radius was 3. So you can see the calculation is pretty easy. Um, there is something, actually, I was going to show you. Let's see if I can bring up that uh, kind of a nifty little animation that they had listed there on your site for surface area. Here we go. Yeah, so we should be able to watch right here in our video, right? Kind of a cool animation showing where the formula for surface area came from. If you were to peel open a ball and lay out the surface flat, you could take everything from about a third of the way down and a third of the way up. And actually, I guess it's about a sixth of the way down and a sixth of the way up, so it makes a total of about a third of the total height, top and bottom. And it fills in the missing space on the end to make a rectangle. And then that rectangle ends up being the dimensions that we need to calculate, or 2 pi r units long, same as the diameter of the circle, right? Pi times d, yeah? The circumference of the circle, I mean. And then 4 pi r squared ends up becoming the area of the circle. 2 r units tall, 2 times the radius tall, so from here to here, and then the same dimension across the top of our rectangle. So that's where that formula, that, that 4 pi r squared, comes from. I wonder if I can pause that so I can draw right on it. Yeah, there we go. That 4 pi r squared comes from 2 pi r long by 2 r tall. So it's kind of a cool little animation. I thought it was kind of impressive. All right, let's take a look at volume. Again, just a relatively simple formula that's well worth memorizing. It's not very long. 4 thirds pi r cubed. So you have 1 and 1 third of pi times your radius cubed. And that gives you the volume of the inside of the sphere. So again, if we were to say maybe we have a radius this time of 4 units, then the volume of a sphere whose radius is 4 units would be 4 cubed, 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 is 64, times pi, times 4 thirds, or 1 and a third. Take your pick. So then we have, we just run that through a calculator, and we get, um, well, 4 thirds is 1.33333, right? 1 and a third, times pi, times 64, gives us, 268 cubic units, or if you like to leave it in terms of pi, you could just say 85 and a third pi. So 268 cubic units, or 85 and one third pi cubic units. Either way would be fine. And there's, if you didn't see it already, there's another one of those animations that talks about where the volume of the sphere comes from. It's very similar um, to the one for the surface area of the sphere, but I definitely recommend watching it. Um, it's kind of a kind of a cool little animation and shows you where that formula comes from. But really, uh, memorizing the formula is well worth it. Um, if you don't memorize it, then definitely please write down on a note card somewhere because you're going to use it a number of times. One and one third times pi times radius cubed. Let's take a look at the example questions and see how it applies.